At the 1964 World's Fair, things began to change. Near the Astral Fountain, in the federal and states area of the World's Fair, is the time capsule exhibit of the Westinghouse Electric Corporation. Three tall towers poised against the Long Island sky mark the spot where Westinghouse buried the first time capsule in 1938. I think 1893 and 1939 changed culture. I think 64 only reflected the change in the culture. I don't know that Westinghouse was devoid of ideas, but it was a, a time period when they did repeat themselves. Not a very exciting exhibit. When you look at the Westinghouse exhibit, they simply seemed almost tired. The Westinghouse time capsules, legacy for the people of the year 6939, proving that man not only endures, he also prevails. Mirroring the changes seen at the 1964 fair, corporate culture and consumerism were changing America. Antitrust laws through the mid-20th century had been hard on the company, forcing them to break up. The once mighty Westinghouse manufacturing plants were regarded as outdated. Foreign competition was creeping in and energy costs were rising. As times were changing and lower performing divisions had to be cut, it was difficult to maintain the kind of relationship with its workers that the good old days permitted. Gone forever were company bands, the Westinghouse athletic teams, employee housing, and the lawn and garden contests. Now Westinghouse in 1955 had 55% of their refrigerator market in the United States. For any company to have 55% of a market is amazing. 20 years later, they had to sell the division to get money to buy a cable system. Even though Westinghouse was widely thought of as having the best engineers, designers, and technology, they could no longer keep their costs down to remain competitive. He said that at our display last night, all the products really looked great. But I heard this morning that all the products were stolen by a thief except a toaster. The bottom line of that was we had a lousy toaster in the field. <laughs>